even new niggas that, that just came out now like your little Dirk they can still go on tour in America or worldwide tour and, and sell out venues you know or even just tour something in the, something just that tour in hood something, as well. something that aka doesn't do but he's been around longer so I'm asking what's holding SA Hip Hop back hmm. not to be able to do such things it's a good question, you know what I mean? And it also goes back to, for me, yeah. this is my response. You can share your opinion as well. But I think it's such a... I'm from the old school, you know me, all about the culture, like Rashid and OG. OG. Like, subscribe, and tell your whole street, load this next episode with love for the whole team, yeah. Let's get serious for the free period. And drop a link in the comments, because we're hearing it. Shout out to OG, shout out to Rash K, set a new standard. So we back at it like crack addicts, you know what time it is, OG triple triple, hanging out with the one and only head nigga in charge, Rashid K. You already know, uh -huh. we're I like the building. I like your uh, bumblebee trip today, I like it, I like you know it, you got saying? that you know black and yellow, black and yellow, black <laughs> and yellow, Hey, That's how it is man, that's you know, how it is. You know, actually now that I'm saying this, uh, Wiz Khalifa is probably the one nigga that can drop like one song a year. And just make shitloads of money and go back and kick back and not have to make music anymore. Sometimes it happens. Like, you have to be a lucky nigga, I think. Or maybe you have to be having sex with the right people. <laughs> or maybe a strong fan base. You think he's got a strong fan base? Like a Wiz Khalifa? Like the weed smokers? For sure. I'm a weed smoker, but I'm not like a huge Wiz Khalifa fan. You, you don't buy like white kids. Facts. White kids that smoke joints, they, they buy a lot of Wiz Khalifa. Facts, facts. Him and uh, Mac Miller did. Yeah. They had that whole crowd at yeah. some point there. Where it was Mac Miller, Wiz Khalifa, you knew they were the new Snoop Dogg. Yeah. If you see them, you're expecting some like weed joint song, you know? You nice though? Um, no, I'm super nice. I'm super nice, man. No complaints. No complaints. Word, man. We're about a million episodes deep, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, whatever the number is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's there on the caption. What's the word, man? How's your week been? Ah, my week been nice, man. Taking it easy. You know, listening to music. Chilling, resting. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, why do you think South Africa doesn't have a hip-hop movie? I don't know. I don't know. Shit. I think, I think... It's a good question though, right? That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. I think we need creatives, like movie directors, movie makers, to create one. You know, because when you look at American movies, they're not all based on a true story. Of you course know, take, not, yeah. Take something like Juice, Above the Rim, Boys in the Hood. Uh, Nino Brown story. What's yeah, that one? all those movies. Are, New Jack City. Are, New Jack City. Those, those are fictional stories. You know, I don't know what's stopping them from making a, a, a movie. Chance, chance, like, chance, and knees of it. You know, I don't know. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> I don't know what, what's, what's stopping movie makers from creating one. It doesn't have to be. It, come on. What's, what's wrong with, with you? The, guys, 100 episodes deep. You still Our have phones, phones are still on. fucking around like this. Huh? We're trying to talk about movies and shit. Yeah. Hey, yo, get your girl, man. Tell your girl not to call you between this time. <laughs> Wait up, what you said? Phone. Um. <laughs> <laughs> shit was polyphonic. Isn't hey. you hear that? <laughs> must polyphonic have been. ringtone. <laughs> must have been definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I think, I think movie makers must come on board, man. Must come into play and create something, you know. It doesn't have to be a documentary style, because no, that yeah. would be boring. That we would don't be boring. want a movie. Yeah, it's a movie. It doesn't have to be based on a true story. Yeah, make like a American gangster type shit, but like South African hip hop. Yeah, make you it know? South African hip hop. I think, I think there's many interesting stories. I think the pro kid story needs to be told. Yeah. Chaba story needs to be told There's as a well. lot of stories, man. There's a lot of stories. Yo, I saw a picture of Tony Mac with Chaba's kid. Jabba's son. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. That nigga look 
dead exactly. like exactly we like could we Jabba. could we could literally take him and do a and play, and play notorious and like, play. like they did on notorious yeah and play his dead he, he could actually no chris wallace didn't play notorious i'm lying there's chris wallace jr looks exactly like uh, yeah like biggie yeah you know what i mean so we, with I, ice cube sons as, uh, as well on on uh, straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. Yeah. Where they said he looks more like Ice Cube than Ice Cube. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so crazy. yeah, we need we need such shit. I definitely think it's it's about time we're in an era. I can't believe that we're in 2023 and nobody's ever made a movie about a South African hip hop artist where there's so mm. many stories that can be told. Even not hip hop, right? Let's talk about like your Arthurs of the world, your Skeetos of the world. They have mad not documentary, but Movies. like. If we can make a movie about Oskido's life, what? That would be awesome, yeah. my nigga. You know what I mean? A movie about pro, a movie about Jabba, like I said. You know, all the homies that we've lost. Yeah. They've all got dope-ass stories to tell. And uh, my, y'all directors. I think, I think, I think, Oti was a dope movie. Okay. Even though it was quite a wish. We need, like, something like that, but a hip-hop movie. I think so, too. Where the story's being told of this journey. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Dog, there's, like... Ample content. Yeah, there. there's gang stories. To Maybe we told. should do it and stop like expecting other expecting people to other people to do it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Let's rope in uh, back to the city in Saha. We take that money. <laughs> we put a budget. We hire a dope ass crew. You know what I mean? To get it done. I feel you. We need more movies out here, man. Yeah. Yo, welcome to it, masterclass. Um, my nigga. Yeah, anything yeah. you want to get off your chest? Anyone you mad at? Nah, nah, never that. It's it's. It's, it's too early good. for that shit. It's all good and early. It's too Are you early. trying to have an easy year? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's not going to be like that. I'm going to tell you that for free. 2023, hip-hop is turning 50. Yo, that's a big deal, right? 50 years old, yeah. That's Since deal, 1973. Right? That's a big deal, right? It is. It is a big deal. Shit, what does it mean to you as a hip-hop connoisseur? I think, I think um, Back to the City will be themed around that. Around the 50, 50 block. years of hip hop, yeah. Shit, but how do you theme it like around that? Like, do you now? What? How do you do that? How do you? So you're gonna try and encapsulate the whole fifty years, which is fucking crazy. Yeah. Because how are you gonna do that? Are we gonna do that? Well, I know do, you, do you have? Do you have? And I'll tell you mine. Maybe like a, in the fifty years that you've loved hip hop, a like a historical moment that you will never forget. Even if it's like a, a video that you watched or a song that you heard, do you have like a historical moment where it's like, this is just why I love hip hop? I don't know, man. Like, I got I got too many moments. You got too I many, got, you I know. Got too many moments. I got a lot man. myself. You know. I'm, I'm thinking about now as we speak about it. I'm like, shit. If we had to pinpoint one, it would be almost impossible. Yeah. Over the years, I mean, starting from the first hip hop album you enjoyed. Yeah. To the first lyric you to, remembered. To, to my first international concert that I attended, that was Dead Press when they were in South Africa. For real? Yeah. That's dope. Dead Press is nice. You know, so that was crazy. Oh, that, shit. That was your first one? That was my first seeing an international artist. How did it feel? Did you feel like, oh, my God, hip-hop is Ah, it was great. It was <laughs> great. That was amazing. You man. felt like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I now know what hip-hop is. <laughs> yeah, these niggas I only see on TV. They, yeah, I can see them. <laughs> Wild, man. Do you think niggas should still come out here, though? Yeah. Do you think we should still be inviting international hip-hop artists 50 years later when hip-hop is such a big thing now? Should we not just fuck them and do our own thing? Uh, hip-hop is universal, you know history. When you talk, when 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 you talk hip hop history, you cannot talk hip hop history without mentioning Africa Bambada, without mentioning the Illmatic, without. It's it's a worldwide thing. Mm. You know, it's a worldwide thing. When you talk hip hop, you need to, you need to think globally. Okay, true. Yeah, okay. that's why that's why even though hip hop is not fifty years old in South Africa, we are celebrating hip hop universally. Yeah, yeah. You know, for, hip -hop, for all yeah. Korean hip hop, yes, SA hip hop worldwide is word. fifty years old. French so, hip hop, yeah. So that that that's how we, we we're not gonna separate or remove ourselves from uh, the global culture. Word. How old would you say SA hip hop is? Like, if you could like almost pinpoint the date, the same way we can with with global hip hop. How old would you say we are? We 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 young, but like, how old would you say we are? 
I think it's um, brr. It's tough, no? 40. 40? Yeah. 40? Yes. The first, the, the first hip-hop group in South Africa was a Black Noise formed in 1982. That's 40 years. What? Yeah. And then in 1988, there was POC. Okay, so we thought that's not bad at all. Yeah, it's not bad. So we're, we're not, not that young. We're, we're not, not young too at all. We're far behind from American hip hop, which did not make us that young. We're not. It, 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 we're, it, the it industry's took, grown. It took us. It took us a while to crack it to the mainstream. Like 2003, that's when SA hip hop with Squatter Cap and Procade and Hidden Force and all of those. That's when SA hip hop went mainstream. But even in America. It didn't, it didn't go mainstream in 1973. It mm. took them about seven years to uh, 1979, Sugar Hill Gang, 1980, Kerry's mm. um, Blow. You know, it took them seven years to go mainstream. But we 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 celebrating the very beginning. The beginning of it. Yeah. And it's, so them, so them seven years as from 82, excuse me, to 2003. Yeah. That's what, like almost 20 something years. 20 years, yeah. Took us twenty years to get mainstream. Yeah, that means it's gonna take us maybe another ten to fifteen for us to have a lucrative hip hop market. The same. Yeah, way. we 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 are we are twenty years old into the mainstream, like two thousand and three to twenty twenty three. That's twenty years. Wow! And my thing is, from it's gonna take us another twenty from there. So, including this time now, for hip hop to be at a place where it is in the States, almost, where almost everybody is just listening to hip-hop in the country, almost. You know what I mean? Like, it's the biggest pop culture is hip-hop. Yeah, Here, yeah. it's not the biggest pop culture at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's not. You know, know what I mean? So it's going to take us another 20 years for it to become super mainstream where, like I'm saying, my grandmother knows the best hip-hop artist in the country. Yeah, it's going to eventually... It's gonna get there where we like the grandfathers and grandparents that are hip hop, like we have sons and grandsons that are into hip hop. Hip -hop yeah. Eventually, it's gonna be a big thing, like that. It's gonna be normal, you know. Unlike right now, when you talk to your grain about hip hop, she's just like nigga, the fuck, the fuck you talking They'll about? They'll be swearing you too know? much. So it's gonna get to that point, you know. In America, you have. Like OGs, the, the, the seventy-year-olds yeah. who, who were hip hop back then in Strict the seventies, eighties, you know. So that's a normal thing. But for us, it's gonna take us a minute. It's gonna take you to become like seventy years old, still rapping, for your kids and the culture to grow to that point. No, no, no not not still. Africa Pambara is not is is not rapping anymore. All these old niggas, but they still active within the hip hop culture. I get that. I yeah, get that. yeah, yeah. But musically, I mean, they're not. Obviously, they have to. They got phased out by yeah, yeah. The growth the, of the, the, the new trends, the, growth the new of artists. Can you the, imagine a time when, like, a will cast by now, aka, is like a long gone story, where they can make a movie about it? Yeah, you know what I mean. It and is I, gonna get there. It I haven't thought about it. I don't. It I, is like, gonna I can't get imagine there. that day. You know, we, no, nobody imagined. In, in 1988, nobody imagined that there would be a movie about N.W.A. True. Very true. That was some shit. We were like, yo, we need to tell the story. Yeah. Nobody we, thought we there was going to be a movie about Biggie. And you we know, haven't got But there after yet. some time, we're going to look back and say, we have to there's tell a the story, story in this AKA thing. There's a story in this Casper thing. You're going to go back like... Kids in the future, they're going to go back and... And, and, and watch this and be like, yo, there, there was a time when there were the two biggest hip-hop artists in the country and they were beefing and, and this and this happened. And there's all these stories. This one got slapped at the club. Gonzo pulled out at SABC. <laughs> all that shit is And then they stories. gonna script it out and act it out. Fuck, I can't imagine that, man. Uh, seeing an old AKA, uh, seeing an old Casper. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I can't see it. I can't see it. Who who do you say is the oldest rapper that you know from South Africa? The oldest? Yeah. That you know even if today if we had to put him in a cipher... He'd fuck niggas up. Or he'd hold his own. 
I think it's. I, I don't know any of them old cats, so I can't. I can't. I think Salvin. Salvin, you think is the oldest nigga that can still rap like that? Um, yeah, that I know. You don't think Amo can still hold it down? Salvin is older than Amo. Salvin's older than Amo. Yeah. Shit. What about like, like if uh, if like a uh, Cabello had to rap? Cabello who? The Quieto Cabello. Mabalan, Mabalan. Rap what? Like if you have to spit some shit, isn't wouldn't he be then the the oldest rapper you know? Rap Quieto. Hmm. Nah. Are you are you so much just rappers, rappers, no? Fuck. Salvin is older than Cabello. Hi, win. Mr. Salvin? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to give away your age, but I didn't know that you were... He's, so he's the OG OG, and everyone knows that, yo, Salvin's been doing this shit like millions of years, and we all know that he's probably the oldest yeah. rapper that can still rap. Yeah, I think he's as old as hip-hop. <laughs> <laughs> In South Africa? No. No, his age. What? No ways, dog. Google him. The crazy thing about what you're saying is that that means Usalvin was doing all that crazy shit that he was doing uh, 15 years ago. 20 years ago. At an old age. So you must have been about 20. If he's 50 now, you must have been about 30 when he was bubbling and like kicking ass. Dropping those two crazy classics. Yeah. The albums. Yeah. He was about 30 years old. Probably. Okay. Most definitely. When you look at it like that, it's different then. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's not the same. So shout out to him. Shit, I didn't know that he might be the oldest cat. That I know. Maybe there's other people. I'm, no, I'm, I'm saying off the, off the dome. Off yeah, the off dome. the dome. I can only think of Salvo. Shit. Yo, hit us in the comments if you're old and you still rap. <laughs> 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 See if you can do it. And, uh, let's get into class. Let's Someone? get into class. Let's get into class. Hit the bell there, Trips. Oh, yeah, man. Running out of space, all right? Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> just saying that's mm-hmm. over. You yeah. cut that trippy. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Um, what's on your mind? What you wanna talk about? I I do have an idea of what you wanna speak about, but I want you to to intro it for me. Because yeah, I think I think I have a crazy report. I think we we we've, we've touched on it a bit. Mm. Like mm. we um, spoke about it kinda. Yeah, like what's what's holding as a hip hop back? Why can't rappers tour why can't rappers how many rappers do we have that can pack venues yeah how many rappers can go on sold out tours what what, what's holding sa hip-hop back what's the problem what okay yeah i get okay so you want to speak about the tours at why 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 can't they tour uh my my thing is the question is so broad yeah because no, I always, I, always, I, always, I always use like American hip-hop as a blueprint. Then you look at, the, at these niggas, you know. Even new niggas that, that just came out now like your little Dirk. They can still go on tour in America or worldwide tour and, and sell out venues, you know. Or even just tour something, the, something just tour that in their hood something, as well. something that AKA doesn't do, but he's been around longer. So I'm asking, what's holding SA Hip Hop back hmm. not to be able to do such things? It's a good question. You know what I mean. And it also goes back to, for me, yeah. this is my response. You can share your opinion as well. But I think it's such a huge factor that we're 20 years behind, and a lot of the time we like to look at. It's a hip hop and compared to what's happening in the States. That's why we also spoke about are we on the same level? Remember, we did yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, where is our, our, are we like there? And it's like, why do we keep comparing ourselves to something that's 20 years older than us? If, it's like, if, sorry, if there's something. If, let, me, let me make the point and finish yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a 20 year old kid trying to compare himself to a 40 year old man. And be like, why don't I have a Porsche yet? Why, why am I not fucking the hottest bitches? Why don't I have money? Why don't I have a job? You're 20 years old. Dog. No, but I'm saying the, the, the levels, the levels, you know, you, you cannot say, you cannot say, ah, why is Bafana Bafana playing Brazil? Brazil has been playing World Cup since 1930. Yeah. Once, once you, you, you're doing the same thing, you're on the same level, you... The, the, the fills the fills are leveled you, you cannot I, I don't use, believe that i don't yeah, believe that no 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 you cannot use that you cannot use that uh, 
it's not even it's not even about there, there, there are South Africans who've been rapping longer than Americans, but uh, um, Americans who come to the game and and say that you're better and and no and kill shit like and and go on tour and do this and do that. You can't say you can't say um, tell little Doug which you older than and say ah you've been around forever. No nigga, I just started two years ago. Nah, it's not the same. You know what kills that element of what you say? What? Experience. Experience from who? From the game that you're in. So if we're looking at hip-hop, yeah. why I say you can't compare yourself because you're younger is that 40, 20 years of a gap means yeah. you've seen things that I haven't seen yet. Yeah. So what I'm experiencing, as much as it might be different, mm -hmm. I still have to go through those certain blocks that you've already stumbled over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just that experience alone is the reason why... Uh, we're, we're, we're behind. We're, we, we're comparing ourselves too much to what's happening in the States or in, in, in wherever, like where hip-hop is big. And we shouldn't because we're growing, fam. Uh, which, 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 I think it's a good thing. Like, you, you need to aim higher. You need to, like... But that's my issue. Then that's the, the, If you're aiming higher, that's the nigga you're looking at thinking that that's who the boss is. And when you get to his level, then what? Whereas uh, now that, that's achievement. That's achievement. If you can pack up a venue, a, a venue, if you can sell out a tour like that, nigga, you you measuring yourself with it's it's an achievement for you if you can achieve that, you know. And I don't know if it's if it's a hip hop thing or it's a South African thing. Do other genres tour? Do they pack up venues? That's a good question. That's a good yeah. question because I mean we don't attend these events like we, what we were speaking about couple of episodes is if we're not on the ground we can't comment on it because we don't know yeah so i don't know if like the mascandi niggas are making money or if the gospel people are making money if rnp is making money because i'm not in that space yeah but you, do you ever hear on 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 a nigger going on a national tour packing venues you don't I, have I to do be here i not packing like I, I i do hear of people saying they go on tour yeah but ah, they, that, is, the it, is, there, is it impactful that tour that's the good question. Is it is People it, tour all the time, but like, what does your tour mean? Like, it's a fine tour, to tour. A tour means means like I remember. I remember Java selling out three nights on the same venue in a row. Today, yeah. tomorrow, the other day. Yeah, like comedians. Yeah, like comedians. Mm. That's that that that's that that's, that's what tour. artists do in that other countries. Right. Yeah, that is a tour. Same spot. The whole weekend. Yes. Coachella vibes. Mm, you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking so not, about. So not, not going from Sumo to Montana to Drama. And call it a tour. To Maya to Cosmopolitan. Yeah. Shit, but that's a tour and it's in the little right that we're in. Dog. Yeah, like, it is. It is. I'm like, saying, that's what I'm saying. We're still babies. Okay, I'm saying, okay, fuck America. I'm <laughs> yeah, saying, don't I'm compare. Saying, Stop comparing yeah, us. I'm saying, I'm saying if, if Java can do that, or, or Lira can do that. Is it a, pro, a hip hop problem? I think it is. What do you mean? Is it a hip hop problem? If Java like can if do, the rappers can 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 uh, sell out three nights in a row. Yeah, yeah, it is a problem. Of course, it's a problem because, like you're saying, if we're speaking about what a tour is, mm -hmm. if you can't do that, you're not touring technically. Yeah. But because we know this from the people we're comparing ourselves to. Mm. If we had no idea, we'd be still happy with the fact that, okay, this nigga's gigging seven nights, seven, seven gigs a night. Yeah. Maybe not the same venue, but he's moving around. Yeah. He's, he's going from Rustenburg to Jersey, from Jersey to PTA, from PTA, Polokwane, you know what I mean? Yeah, n niggas do it's, that. It's, it's, do, it's, niggas do that. There's no way, ne? Yeah. Like you're speaking, Jam Master J and Molly Mall, all those niggas, right? Yeah. There's no way they went from touring from east to west, same time. Get me? Yeah, yeah. They never went from New York to LA overnight. No, no, no nothing happened overnight. So why do we expect no, no, our nothing. niggas to no, do that? No, I'm saying, I'm saying, it's 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 already happening here. I said, forget those guys. I'm saying <laughs> other artists. No, are but do. no, but Rashid, now you're saying you must leave. No, that no, shit. listen. I, you, you said I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it home. Okay, I got you. Yeah. So I'm, you're acknowledging what I'm saying and we're moving. Yes. I'm you. saying there are artists right here. Yeah. That can do that. That can that can fill up nights three nights in a row. Yes, other genres, 
So I'm oh. asking, is it a hip hop problem? And you know this for a fact, right? Yes, I know. I know Java and Durban ICC sold out. At but Java is hip hop. Yeah. Java is hip hop. That's debatable. That's another debate. But all yeah. I'm saying is that we do we do consider him part of the culture fully. Yeah, he is part of the culture. His music is 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 not entirely hip hop music. Yes, but he's part of the culture. Yes. So yeah, I yeah. use use someone use another like genre dog. Use someone else, not Java. Give me someone who you know can pack up three nights that's not from hip hop. Three nights in a row at the same spot. Gabza, Maporisa maybe. Yeah, Maporisa I, think, I still I, consider a little bit yeah, of hip hop. I think they can they can do it. They can fill up one sp- one place for three nights in a row. They can do it, yeah. Okay, and and you, you've probably seen it, or you imagine it, because I, I I know they they, they they have filled up venues, but I haven't seen them doing it three nights in a row, same venue. You know, mm. um, I don't know if it's a budget thing, like rappers can't do their own tours or whatever. They rely on being booked. Because if you say seven gigs or six gigs in a night, it's not their own gig, it's bookings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. promotion, know? booking, company. Yeah, yeah. But w- that's what I'm saying to you. Like, I know how much it costs to, to organize a, an event. All right. You know, All right. Casper knows how much it costs to organize a, an, an event. event. And usually it's a loss. It's a, yeah, it's a lot of money involved. It's a loss. There. So then, okay, then here's the issue. There's not enough money in hip-hop then. Rappers just don't have enough cash. Yeah. You know what I mean? That Do you could, think people are there? Is that it, could be holding us back too. Do you think people are there? It's the money that's not there. No, because with people is money, right? People are money, I think. You know? Um, look, the issue also is social media. Social media is a liar when it comes to the financial backing that it comes with. You can have 3 million followers. Yeah, I But you can't pack up. Uh, five thousand. It's crazy. The number. Man plays. Remember, remember. Last year, before the end of twenty twenty two, uh, Sawiti dropped an album that sold two thousand copies. She had she had thirteen million followers. Thirteen million followers. Shit. Who commented on that? There was a big artist. There. Yeah, there's a, there's another guy who commented. He brought it up. He brought yeah, it up. Like, we we weren't even looking at that. Yeah, we not we were not even looking yeah, at yeah, it yeah. that way. And then it was like, yo, you, are, you, you have 13 million followers and you sold 2,000 2, copies. copies. I remember the numbers this. don't add up. They don't. I, I remember this. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I'm saying to you that, that, that money is important a little bit. That in South Africa could be what's holding us mm. back. Is that Asna Mali. The rappers just don't have money to tour. To have their own tours. To have their own tours and to also promote their own music through the tours, I guess. Yeah, and, and a lot of musicians, a lot of musicians don't have that strong support. That's why, that's why you find a one-man show with 15 artists on the lineup. Yeah. But they're calling it a one-man <laughs> one show. one-man show. Yeah, it should be you, your opener, and your closer. Yeah. And that's it, dog. You, you know what I'm saying? Like comedians. Yeah, we still have a long way. We still have a long way. But that's because we are bikinis, dog. Like, we just adopted this thing and we are riding with it. And we're loving it to the point where we're making it our own. You know? And I'm not saying adopted as in, like, they started it. No. We adopted them making it commercial. Yeah. Yeah. The blueprint. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. That's what I was saying. We adopted saying. The, blu- the blueprint. Yeah. And now it's about working your way up. Even, even, even with, the, with, with the labels, like, Warner Brothers, Universal, Sony, all the majors are American companies. So how far are we, bro? When we're still shitting on Ambitious for being a business, we're still shitting on Mabala for trying to be a business, mm-hmm. and we're accepting with this Sony, there's Universal and all these. We're very, we have a lot of stumbling blocks to get over. Yeah. Before we can, before we can say that South Africa is fully into hip hop and, and fully hip hop. There's a lot of things to go through. It's holding us back, the fact that we like to compare ourselves with them. When we can just look at us. We've always done that, ever since... Ever since I think we should, we should, we should try since, and shy away from that. Ever since, ever since hip-hop started. Hip-hop is universal. You, you've had South African DJs winning world championships. You've had South African B-boys winning world championships. We, we've had South African rappers 
uh, winning international battle competitions. Mm. You know, you cannot say we're not there yet. That, let's not use that as an excuse. You know, we, we, we've had like South Africa defeating the world as young as we are. Yes, but that's what I'm saying. That's when experience comes in, Doug. Yeah. Saudi Arabia can beat Argentina, but can they do it again and again and again? And no, because they don't have the experience that Argentina has. Yeah, but if you can Same do it once, if you can do it once, you can do it. You twice. can do it again. Yes, but you're gonna have to work harder to do it again. Yes, that's that. That's what all these niggas are doing. You know, Reddy D has has competed equally international on world championships as mm. a DJ. Yeah, you know, you, you cannot say you, you can play with Jazzy and then you're right. Yes, yeah. you can, you cannot say that. No, we're not there yet. He was like, "Fuck off." I can, I can, I can, I can compete against Jesse Jeff and the best the world has to offer. That's what I'm saying to you. When I say we're not there yet, is that we shouldn't be looking at like trying to beat Jazzy Jeff. Jazzy Jeff should be trying to look to beat Ready D. Yeah, but the blueprint comes from there. Now, if if he goes there and beat this guy, everyone the eyes that's, are gonna be yes. that's perfect. Because the target is want. always is always if you're on top, you become the target. How do you get on top by beating the, the nigga the biggest on top? Nigga. That's yes. why we, that's why I missed like, my fifty cent game. <laughs> is that best funny boss? Yeah. Why should I boss? You the boss. It that have been. And and I feel like we are still struggling to beat the boss. I think you know what I mean. Like it's not enough that we just have like one dope ass DJ yeah. that can compete in those battles, dog. When they have a hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, I know, I know, but like. So that's what I'm saying. We're still young. We, yeah, we are. We are. But like we have as much as we're 40 years we, old, we're not even close to what we they have. Doing. We have our double use here and there, you know. But we'll, we'll, we'll say we'll say kudos to them. But that's if if we're gonna be like, all right, we're gonna settle on that. Then we, we we're not trying to get to the level we're trying to supposed to be at. Let Let's keep going. We have to not compete with these niggas. We have to do our thing, and they're gonna. How come. are you gonna measure yourself if you don't we're not, compete? We're not measuring. We're doing what we're doing. Yes, so whatever but they like see, you, you, you need to you need to compete against the best in the world. We're not competing. We're in our lane. Hip hop has always been competition. I nigga. get that. I get yeah. that. But Tuana, if you if you and I are beefing and yeah. you're the only one who knows about the beef, yeah. What beef is that? No, not not necessarily beef. Stoke, no, no, I'm just using beef uh, as an analogy. Yeah, yeah. I'm analogy. Saying, analogy. Analogy. Yes, I'm saying I'm saying Stogi T has battled America. Sto- Stogie's okay. gonna fuck us up listen, one day for talking to listen, about him too much. L- listen, listen. I'm saying <laughs> Nicole and this nigga. Stogie, Stogie has battled rappers like the most elite in the world from America. Imagine and if he's killed them. Yes. Imagine if Stogie was 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 battling a rapper from Malawi. No disrespect to Malawi. You know, but he he went for I get you. Do you understand where I I'm do, getting at? I do get what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. And you're right. Yeah. All I'm saying is that that should not be the measuring point of how dope we are. The measuring point shouldn't be I want to be it should be okay, Jazzy Jeff's the best nigga, right? He's the boss that I'm trying to get to. Yeah. Once I defeat him, because I know I'm better than him. I am the boss now. You're the so boss let's now. not let, let's not be like a soccer player will to... always will always a soccer player will always try to reach the Messi Ronaldo level, not the Lodge level. <laughs> 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 and now they're gonna think you have beef with Lodge because I'm laughing at it. You know yeah, what I mean? you, it's because it's, it's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. Yeah, it's not. You causing this. We beef. love Lodge. We love you're Lodge. this beef. I was just <laughs> making an example. You were. It's the same as what you did with Ayepi. I'm sure you're never getting booked there ever again. <laughs> Rest in peace to DJ Samba. R.I.P. Somebody. Yeah. Uh, but I get you, dog. And yeah. you're right about that. Yeah. I just don't feel like you need to let you because I when you compare yourself with someone, mm-hmm. you let your emotions get into play. So, like you're saying, there's a there's a measuring stick, right? Yeah. Of the Americans are the best, mm. but we can't compete with them emotionally to the point where we're like, yo, like these sometimes, guys are the end all Sometimes it's, it's it's not necessary competition, but inspiration. Like, oh shit, Jay Z, I wanna reach the the, the Jay Z level With, without even competing. You you inspired, yo. I wanna mm. make this money. I wanna, I wanna do be a this. billionaire. I wanna do yeah. I wanna do this, do that. Sometimes it's just inspiration. Where do you look 
to for inspiration to Those the best who have in the it world. Better. Got yeah. it, got it, got it. All I'm thinking is that when you do that, don't forget that you are the best in the world. You just don't have the experience. True, true. You know what I mean? So yeah. if you're going to look at it like, yo, ish, this nigga's the best, but not, I need mm. to beat him. The you, worst thing, it's hard to beat him because he has way more experience the, than you. The worst thing you can, you can think of is, I'll never be that. Yes. I'll never reach that yeah, level. Bro. I'll never be that good. And I'm That's not the saying worst do thing that. you can do to yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying do that. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying at all. Please. Hey. <laughs> I'm not saying think hey, if I can't be Jay-Z. No. Yeah. All I'm saying is that you want to surpass Jay-Z. Of course. You want to be better than Jay-Z. You want to be better than Ronaldo. You look to him. You're like, oh, he can do that. I can probably mm-hmm. make two mil if he can make. If he can make one mil, I can make two mil. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, but for him to make that one, one mil, there's exper- experience that he had to gain that you still have to gain for you to make that two mil. And that's what I was saying with this. So shit. do you agree that maybe not this year, maybe not next year, but South Africa will eventually get there? Yeah, fully. I mean, you're seeing it with the collabs that are happening already. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of international artists want to work with South Africa. And, they and get there's a bodied, reason for that. And they get bodied. Because we're doper than them. Yeah. It's the master becoming, surpassing the, it's the student Students, surpassing the, the teachers. master class. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, uh, yeah, dog. What's, the, what's that movie with the sensei? Karate Kid. The Karate Kid. Mr. Theory. Miyagi. It's and, the Mr. And, Miyagi and Daniel-san. theory. Daniel-san. Daniel-san. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel-san. You know what I mean? Uh, Is it Daniel or Daniel-san? Daniel-san. Uh, no, it's daniel but it's Daniel Sun. Yeah, Daniel Sun. But to no, us, no, it's the original, not, not the Will Smith one. No, I mean, come on. <laughs> if you're still talking about the Will Smith. Let, let's go to the free period. Slick, you only, you only know the Will Smith one, Slick. Yeah. Yeah, he knows the Will Smith one. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about the, ah, the real one, Mr. Yagi. <laughs> Got you. Let's go to the free period. Free period. Let's get Cut it. serious for the free period. And drop a link in the comments because we're hearing it. Free period. It's my favorite part of the show. Yeah, we're out here, man. When we get to relax. You know, back in the day when you were in school, free period was the one where you fuck around and find out some new shit that you didn't know. Yeah, yeah, because you had all the time. All the time. You're like, oh shit. Some shit. Your boys would play you a new song that they made. You're like, niggas, y'all made this shit. (laughs) We find that out during the free period. (laughs) Who we got? Uh, We got Skastana. Word. All the way from the Val. You know, DJ Obi Guala. Yeah. Same camp. Okay. You know, he, he's, been, he's been around for a while as well. He's dope. Kasi rapper. Ah. Yeah. I heard a, a 16 that he dropped that was on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, shit. It's a survival valley. This is a rapper. And he, he dropped a big, a big Zulu disc. Yeah, he's the nigga you were telling me about. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. But like the they were, they, were, they, were, they were the same crew like um, OB Fam. Ah. Yeah, OB Fam. And then? Big Zulu, Father Tech, Anzo, mm. Skarstana, you know. And, and then what happened? Niggas grew apart. Oh, one and, of them and, got and, famous. And, and it felt like Fuck Big em. Zulu is not trying to help me out. They're helping hands to other niggas. I get you, I get you. So he decided to go do his yeah, own like, thing. Yeah, he addressed him on the song. Ah, man, I like that. I mean, I think that's always worthy of a free period. <laughs> if, yeah. you, if you're going to... I always... I mean, I enjoy uh, internal beefs. Yeah. I do enjoy watching them. Because they, they, <laughs> in, internal, like, family beefs, they, I, they have all the files. <laughs> they have all the files. You know? You know? So when you bring it in a song, it's just like, oh, yeah. nigga, I knew this shit was happening. Yeah. I just didn't have confirmation. Now you're telling me that y'all beefing for real. Okay. Okay. I've been I, seeing it. Yeah. And now I, it's confirmed. I heard it in your last single. Yeah. At last EP, you mm-hmm. didn't sound happy at all. Yeah. Sounded like you didn't give you they didn't give you the right producers and shit. Yeah. And now you you know what I mean? So shout out to Scott respect, Sana, man. Respect, he's respect. been he's been doing his thing. You know? So Scott representing O one six. Yeah, yeah. A new one for me. I didn't know Scott Stana. So Definitely a new put on for me. Gonna bump his shit. You know, you know Skars, I, I want more peace. He's performed at, at the master class. Maybe I've seen and it. And he was there at, at, at O Shop when we were shooting there. He even did a shout out at the end of the episode. Ah, got you. Scott Stana when we were at uh, OB's. Yeah. Word, man. Big shout out to you, my dog. Big it, shout out to it, you. It, it you on the so free period today. 
and he, he uh, it's was only because of you it's not because of us yeah you know what i mean so let's grow in this industry yeah and then niggas like scott stanna are gonna be commercial as fuck that's our rapper for today producers who do we have dj slick dj I mean, slick. he says he wants to be called slick just slick yeah but we can't do that now. That's a bit weird. There's, there's a lot of slicks now, isn't he's, it? He's a, mu- he's, he's, he's a musician. He's a producer. He's, he's not only a DJ. He says he's slick now. What? I didn't know this. So what is he saying? He's a rapper? No, 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 no. A musician. Like a producer. So why can't you still be DJ Slick? DJ Khaled produces, but he's still DJ Khaled. I don't know. I think he feels like he, he does more than DJ. Oh, but that's your tag, my boy. Injaya Muslik. Not to DJ Slick. Not to DJ, nah. Yeah. You're right, I guess. I mean, mm. for me, he's, he's a homie. I've seen him do his thing before. Um, yeah. yeah, man. You know what I mean? I like. I know he stays. I know I've seen him put in the work. I know. Yeah. Like, no, he's been. He's been. At his place working. at La Alwa, there's like different artists coming in and out every day. Mm. Uh, you know, I know he worked at, I don't know if he still does, but he worked at Sony at some point as an A&R for yeah, these young yeah, guns. Yeah. Put a lot of homies on. Mm. So for me as a producer, I'm not upset with him. I didn't know that he was like actual producer as in like he, he puts together the whole project with these people and makes beats. Yeah, he does. He makes beats. Yeah. I just thought he was exec, like, like a DJ Khaled. I didn't know he makes beats at all. He does. That's why he wants to stop being DJ Slick. Because all other DJs can make beats. That is fact. So he does. He does. You know this for fact. Yeah. Fuck, shout out. Like, I thought you was just like the mother homies. Who buys beats? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was just like everybody else, cuz. No, 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 shout That's why he's, he's on this segment of the show as a producer. As a producer. Okay, word up, man. As yeah. a producer as in beat maker. Yeah. Production. Yes. A&R. This, is, this feature is for that. Yeah, you dropped one of my favorite songs for 2022, dog. You know what I mean? So, stay soft. Whatever Rashid says. <laughs> he is H-N-I-C, so he can take that stuff sort of shit. I love that, though. Dope ass album, man. Dope ass uh, yeah. project as well. I know he's, a, he's also doing what, what uh, that album we spoke about, Mash Beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where there's, I, I know there's a lot of McLera dope boy and his Ma- shit. Hey, McLera, McLera is everywhere. With the DJs, yeah. I mean, with the with the producers. That's that's a good thing, though. That's how he's building. That's how he's growing. Yeah. Okay. We'll t- next episode we'll talk about it if we can, if we remember. But like, that's the whole thing that people were complaining about is that he's Uma Clara's sounds dope when he's working with the mashes and the and. But then when he's doing his own thing, it's mm-hmm. a bit different now. You yeah, know we'll I mean? talk about it. Shout out to Slick. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna struggle with this, bro. I can't not say the DJ. DJ is slick. <laughs> also, because he's a nice DJ, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's a really yeah. good DJ in the club, holds it down. I've had him on the show as well, yeah. mixed full hour, you know? One of the very special big name DJs that has clean fucking music. All right, all right. Shout out, man. We see you. We appreciate you. We lie, you, man. Word. Before we go into the review, I just need to say this because I'm, I know you missed it. When I say clean music, I mean DJs. All of you DJs out there coming up, please be like DJ Slick. When you come and you play on TV, on radio, you have to have clean edits. You must make clean edits. Make clean edits of your own. If yeah. you find the song and you like it and you want to play it in the club, go make the clean edit. You do it. You do it. Even you know if you I mean? want to send us mixes to play on radio. You can't play a dirty mix. Make it clean. You have to, and the only way you do that is if you, if you have clean edits of songs. And I encourage every DJ, because I've seen OG DJs do this, mm-hmm. where they get a new song and it's dirty as fuck. But they because he wants to play themselves. it on the radio, yeah. cleans it himself. Yeah. And then, you know what that, what that, that does? Uh-huh. He's the only one in the country who has the clean version of that song. So all the other DJs now want to work, or want to send, or you know what I mean? Like mm. you can, dog, work it out. As a DJ, Slick is one of the best with that kind of shit. All right, all right. Diligent. Review? Let's review, dog. K Kid. K Kid. K. Is it Kid or Kid? Kid. I don't know. It's two E's. I don't know, man. <laughs> like, it's, it's. You know, rappers are fancy with spelling and. Yeah, now there's like an X in Blackie, which is crazy, right? Yeah. I don't understand that shit still. K Kid. <laughs> all right, what you say about the album? Huh? When, let me first say, when I played this, mm-hmm. 
I just played it in J Channel and I was with people. Yeah. So I wanted to see what they were gonna. So I just played it and someone was like, hey, yo, is this K Kid? And I'm like, ah, that means that you just are. In. Like yeah. you're on. Yeah, yeah. If people are asking and they know you, then I'm like, oh shit, that means like your your name is out. Like your voice is there. Mm. You know, which is what I really enjoy is that she has that different kind of feel. The album is called Alter Ego or Alter Ego. Alter Ego. Yeah, but it, it, it has an E. I remember AKA dropped Alter Ego. Mm. Which was AKA's a classic. AKA's first album. Classic. Yeah, but it had an A. This one had an E. I had don't know e. Alter or... It could be it, Alter if, Ego. If it, yeah, if it means the same thing. Because, I mean, Alter would mean church vibes, right? Like an altar. Like a platform to speak. Actually, not even church vibes. It's a, an altar. It's a platform where you can no, get but on your speak. If you, if you separate it from ego, it's going to mean something else. Not really. Because... If, if you say alter ego, you say, hey, I'm Rashid here. I'm, my alter ego is yes. HNIC. You that's know? that's but your if, alter ego. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That, but then if you have an alter is. ego, mm -hmm. that, means you can, that means you can get on a platform and speak and speak from your ego. You get me? So you can get on an altar like a, like a priest does. Yeah, yeah. And then speak from your ego. Don't speak from who you are. Speak from the motherfucker. She must let has. us know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> she has to. Because it's deep. It's deep. She gets deep. Right? Okay, okay, okay. The album. Eight songs. Mm. You e know? EP. We need to stop calling EP. Uh, short albums. Short, 21 short. minutes. Yeah, it's, it's too it's, short it's, for an album. Yeah, it's an EP. Mm. It's 21 minutes, eight. I think it's like seven songs because the last one was just a voice note. And that's it. So it's six, six seven songs. Seven yeah. songs, yeah. yeah. Nah, Donna, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too. It gave me... Sometimes, a couple of songs gave me the, the Young Thug vibe. Young Thug vibe. <laughs> Maybe that's, that's where the inspiration is coming from. That's I like right. Izapa featuring Blakey. Yeah. Obviously. And, yeah, and his story featuring D Kuala. Yeah, Izapa was the single yeah. of the album. You know, I like I like I dig those two songs. And I think they Speak for you. No, like because when when I started listening to it, it, it was English, 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 you know? Mm. And then when I heard Izapa, and then you can I'm see like, what oh, the diversity. She's Tosa. Oh. But she's that, done like a couple of Tosa, not verses, but like Ad libs, yeah, ad libs, hooks in other songs, yeah, in the songs that she featured on before she dropped Alter yeah. Ego. Uh, I'm just happy to see that there is music coming out that yeah. is hers and she's not featuring because I just seen her on her mad features, man. Like, everybody's it seems to be wanting a verse from her, yeah, yeah. So, I was, I was impressed. Um, if you sing two songs that you really fuck with, does that mean five songs you don't? I, I, I do, they're okay. I'm saying the the Songs that I like, that I really like. Skips? I have, mm. I have two skips. So Which one? Um, track six? Is it track six? Track Just six, before. skim some. Yeah, Antona, it's like, I don't know if that oh, was yeah, the one yeah. to end the album with. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I also... <laughs> skip that one. Yeah, skim and then some. Just, and then it's that voice note and then it's over. Uh, there's one more song and then the voice note. Yeah, Scotcha. Scotch is nice. Scotch is nice, mm. yeah. I also... I also didn't fuck with Skim Sam, but the, the project overall is decent. How much you giving it? I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10, same here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it's 7 songs, 8 songs. Yeah, we. I'm skipping 2, I'll give you a 7. Let's hear more. Probably she's gonna drop some more music and she's gonna grow. 2023 is the year for the new guys, man. So, K Kid or Kid or whatever the fuck it is. Let's get into the game properly. Shout out to K Kid, man. T Cape Town. You got, you got a good seven from the masterclass. That's not bad. Cape Town representing for 21 minutes. It's not bad. City. <laughs> Let's get out of here, dog. I we got are, shit to do. We are. We are. I'm from the old 